What's up everyone? This is DHTV and if you've ever been annoyed with iTunes or your iPhone running out of memory, this little item right here might change your life. Let's get started. So the Jet Drive is a lightning to USB 3.1 flash drive that connects to your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch and expands your device memory. The USB side is used with your Mac or PC to transfer pictures, videos, and files a lot faster and easier than if you were to use iTunes. Now the Jet Drive is available in multiple colors and capacities. This one here is the 32 gigabyte model, but if you want to check out other colors, other models, and other people's reviews of the Jet Drive, I went ahead and placed a link in the description box. Now just to quickly demonstrate how the Jet Drive works, the first thing you want to do is install the Jet Drive Go application. It's free. Just search for it in the App Store. And once it's installed, open it up and you'll be taken to a page like this one here. Now installing the Jet Drive is simple. If you install it, within the application itself, so just plugging it in, you will not get a prompt, but just for this example, we'll go ahead and just plug in the jet drive here, and you'll see that we get a prompt. It's asking if you would like the jet drive to communicate with Transcend, and then a code. We'll go ahead and hit allow, and it basically just opens up the application for you. Now from this application here, you can see a few options. We have the Jet Drive Go, My Storage, Camera Roll, and Backups. Just for this example, I'm just going to show you how to transfer pictures from your camera roll to the Jet Drive. We'll tap on it. And it's this simple. So you can see your videos as well as your photos. If you tap on the plus, you'll see all of them. And all you have to do from this stage here is simply just tap on select at the top and then just go ahead and select the pictures or videos that you'd like to send over. When you've completed selecting, go ahead and tap on the share icon at the bottom and you can see you can share it with all your traditional sharing options as well as using AirDrop. But we're just gonna move to the Jet Drive Go right here. And then it'll give you some options. So you can add folders if you want right here and then create the folder. I'm just gonna hit cancel and just save it to the My Camera folder. From here, we'll tap on move and you'll see it's copying them over. And then once it pops up like this, you can go ahead and have it delete them from your camera roll or just say don't allow. So I'm just gonna say don't allow for this section here for now. And to just show you now, if we go to our Jet Drive Go, you can see your folders and we'll tap on my camera and you can see the pictures that I went ahead and transferred over. So it's that simple. And it works the same way if you're transferring files, videos, whatever you may be using. We have a my storage section here so you can check on your storage on your device. You also have a backup section here so if you'd like to back up your phone completely to the Transcend drive, you can. Up top we have two options. This one here is a camera. If we tap on the camera, you can actually take videos or pictures and send them directly to the drive itself, which is hit done. And then right here we have our settings and we can have password protection, there's capacity. So if we tap on that, you can see how much space is free on the iPhone as well as on the jet drive here. You have some informational support and things like that. And that's pretty much it for what you would be using this for on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. Now when it comes to transferring your files, photos, or videos from your iPhone to your computer, all you have to do is basically remove the lightning portion from the iPhone and then go ahead and plug it in to your computer's USB port. It's that simple. Once the jet drive is connected, you wanna go ahead and find the device on your computer. Now I'm using a Mac, so it shows up in the Finder tab. If you're using Windows, you're gonna have to search for it. It should be where all your drives are. And then basically all you do is open up the drive. You'll be able to see the folders, whether you created one or the two standard folders here. As I showed you, I just used the standard My Camera folder. And if I open that folder up, you can see my photos that I transferred over right here. From here, all I have to do is just simply highlight the ones I want to keep. And then I'm just gonna drag them over to my desktop. You can save them wherever you'd like. I'll just let go here. And and there they are on my desktop. You can see them all. So that's pretty much it. This is the Transcend Jet Drive Go. Again, there's a link in the description if you wanna purchase this for yourself, read other people's reviews, or look at the other colors that are available. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment box. I'll definitely help you out. Don't forget, if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more videos, and also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram for updates and to stay in touch with what's going on with me and with the tech that I am reviewing. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.